more information on today's program, contact Erica Taylor Montgomery at threegirlsmedia.com. Now, back to Punch, media and marketing made easy on the Bay Area's business leader, AM 1220 KDOW. Good morning and welcome back to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy, where we help you deliver a total knockout with your public relations, your marketing, and your social media, and so much more. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and I'm the founder and CEO of Three Girls Media and Marketing, which is a public relations and social media marketing agency that really specializes in working with small and mid-sized companies with very cost-effective PR and social media solutions. You can find us online at threegirlsmedia.com. That's threegirlsmedia.com. And one of the things that I always offer is a complimentary 30-minute consultation where we'll have time to talk specifically about your public relations and social media goals and needs. And we can talk about some suggestions I might have for you as well as about how Three Girls Media and Marketing may be able to help your company. And if you'd like to set up that consultation, it's very easy to do. All you have to do is visit three threegirlsmedia.com and then go to our contact page, either call or email me to make that appointment for your consultation today. So in round two today, we're going to cover how to create powerful pitches for the media. Our guest this half hour is Julia Coach, and she's a communications analyst with over 20 years of experience, both launching and managing small business and nonprofit campaigns. She's got a dual degree in uh, dual graduate degrees, actually, in both counseling and communications. Uh, Julia, good morning, and welcome to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. Good morning, Erica. I am so happy to be on the show, uh, and greetings to everyone listening today. I'm very excited about today's topic. Thank you again for the invitation. Absolutely. I'm thrilled to have you on the show and cover this topic because it's one that we have not talked about on the show to date. And why don't we start with the absolute basics, Julia, and describe exactly what a media pitch is. <laughs> you are cutting right to the chase. Uh, a media pitch is actually your description or a small business owner's or an entrepreneur's description of a potential story to an editor or a decision maker. And the pitch actually lays out why your story matters. The pitch has to make the case for doing that certain story at a certain point of time. And of course, it has to have a hook or several hooks, and we can talk about it later. But you basically have to be able to tell to this editor, decision maker, this is my case, and I think my story is going to serve your audience. You know, that really is it. It's a it's a brief introduction to a company or a person or a product or a service that really lets the media know uh, why they should be providing coverage of that particular thing, either on a TV show, on a radio program, uh, in a newspaper, magazine, website, or blog. It could be any of the above, but it really, like you said, Julia, has to be compelling and has to provide a good case of why that that particular media outlet should be covering whatever it is that you are pitching to them. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, and that's really the basis of what a pitch is. And you know, in Silicon Valley, uh, a lot of people consider pitches something that you give to a venture capitalist to raise funds for your company. But when we're talking about the media, a pitch is not that at all. A pitch is really a way to try to get you media coverage in television, radio, newspapers, magazines, websites, or blogs. And by, by writing and crafting that pitch and sending it specifically to a decision maker at one of those media outlets, you have a decent possibility of actually getting coverage for your business. So Julia, why don't we talk about why media coverage can be so powerful for companies? Well, I'm going to say this from a couple of times today, actually getting publicity, getting media coverage can change your life and it can change the life of your business. For any entrepreneur or small business owner manager, positive coverage in a newspaper, and we don't necessarily have to talk about national, we can start out small, we can start talking about local, it can actually transform the business. New customers, instant credibility, um, if you become an overnight sensation, even better. 
these are just some of the benefits that will flow from being read or heard at the right place at the right time. And you also have to remember that most business owners and entrepreneurs are pretty cash strapped and there's no need to pay thousands of dollars to marketing or PR firms to get this kind of publicity. Yes, you have to invest your time, absolutely. But if you learn how to do that, how to do the right things in the right way at the right time, it will actually transform you. So one of the things that I get asked about quite frequently by, uh, by people I speak to, I do a lot of speaking engagements, and they wonder, how exactly do I find the contact information for the right person at the right media outlet so I can actually send them some information? What are your suggestions for that, Julia? Well, there are a couple of things, and um, I always talk about the common basic approach that people come to me that is usually not going to work. Most people think that they don't have to do a whole lot to secure that media coverage until they have something to say. Well, that is an interesting way not to approach your media campaign. You actually have to see yourself as having the role of providing useful information. Once you know what that information is, then you know which are the newspapers or magazines and blogs you will have to approach. You can take the traditional research approach. You can use different services. You know, we can talk about Hero if you want to get that far down the road, which is a um, service called Help a Reporter Out. It's free for reporters and experts, and it offers a premium service for small business owners and public relations professionals to receive notifications, generally post queries for sources for television. There's so many different blogs that you can actually look at. It does take time, but again, start with identifying what your goals and needs are and go from there. You know, I absolutely love helpareporter.com, which uh, in the industry, everybody knows as HARO for short. Right. And, you know, as you mentioned, it's, it's an absolutely free service. And I think it's incredibly valuable and in that every single business owner and entrepreneur should be dis uh, subscribing to helpareporter.com. It's very easy to do. It's a free service. And once you sign up for that, HARO is going to email you twice a day, once in the morning, and then once once again in the afternoon, literally dozens of queries by journalists all over the country in every type of media outlet you could imagine, and even books. Uh, and they're looking for experts and professionals who can provide them with good information on the subject matter that they're researching. And so this is a wonderful way for you to be able to instantly connect with a journalist or decision maker, provide them with your expertise expertise and have a very good opportunity of landing some free editorial media coverage for your business. Absolutely. And I have some clients who had great success working with Hero. Uh, as long as you understand the needs and you are following the protocol and you understand to address exactly the specific need that a certain reporter is looking for, you're going to do great. Absolutely. And there are also uh, two other services, just like Haro, that I'd like to mention. One is called reporterconnection.com, right. and the other is pitchrate.com. And if you sign up for all three, for helperreporter.com, reporterconnection.com, and pitchrate.com, you are literally going to end up with hundreds of queries from journalists every single week. And believe me, if you don't think that your subject matter or area of expertise is going to be looked for, it is simply a matter of time. I have seen so many fascinating subject areas that people are looking for good experts and information on on these resources and i think it's so valuable to sign up for all of them and really leverage them for your business oh absolutely absolutely it's it's so um good that you mentioned actually the whole uh, issue of being an expert because <laughs> often people come to me and tell me you know i have an expert and I don't know how to say that. Well, sign up for at least one of these services and it's going to instantly help you. It's instantly going to educate you about how to present yourself as an expert. 
Absolutely. We're talking about how to create powerful pitches for the media. And you're listening to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy on 1220 AM KDOW, the Wall Street Business Network. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and we'll be right back after the break. 